heavy vehicular congestion on the N1 following an early morning accident involving five vehicles at Aquitiman Junction uh, of the highway. At least four people are reported severely injured from the crash, crash which left two of the vehicles completely mangled. Witnesses say a vehicle suspected to be a national security vehicle on top speed flew into a number of cars ahead of it on the highway. All five vehicles have since been towed to the Tessano MTTD while personnel from the department are ensuring the gridlock is managed. A vehicle uh, believed to be a national security vehicle and four others, a taxi, a salon car and then a four-wheel drive. So we are told by some of the witnesses that at this exact spot, the uh, vehicle support, uh, suspected or believed to be a national security vehicle uh, some assaulted and then crashed into some other vehicles that were in front of it. And uh, the accident injuries to some of the occupants of all these vehicles. We understand that the ambulance service uh, you know, was here with a vehicle to convey some of the injured persons to the hospital. We also told that by police that since the accident happened, the traffic congestion has been incredibly insane. Stretch. vehicles can barely move so usually on this stretch it, it could take you uh, maybe 20 to 30 minutes to navigate this particular stretch uh, from Aquitiman and La Paz to my left uh, right to Jowulu and uh, Tetequashi right ahead of me so I'll be joined by uh, Alima she is an eyewitness she works around here she'll be telling me exactly what she saw this morning but Mamabi what it is is that you can see blood stains splattered all over the pavements the median here in the center of exactly where the, the, the um, dismembered parts of vehicles, you know, the, the broken glasses, you can see the uh, broken windshields of some of the vehicles and the tail and the headlights of some of the vehicles splattered all over. And this has caused huge, huge vehicular congestion. Let me speak now to Alima. She works around here. Alima, Medasi, say we need a jia oni here, Babe Chishin Komose, see a day in Poti na unhu and the power was a so. Pacho, good morning. I'm a Lima. I'm a Pawe, and I'm a Tonga. I'm a Suzine Honum. It's immediate when you see Honum. I'm a great inside. I'm a Koyin. I'm a Nepi. They may say traffic and nature or minim Honum. Me, who I say a car can the minimum the dream won't die. Name who say me, Nim Honum Kakran. I'm who say a two years to say play and a bulk car back will be. It's a book bag, and I'm in the Sabia, or Muni now, Mewu, and I'm a journey call. It's me, journey side, and I'm a buy a bed, you know, and I'm who say Nipa four, and I'm a prop, a boar, and in sa, and I'm in nine, to can you now say, say. Okay. So all she's been saying is that uh, the accident happened in the early hours of today, that's Tuesday. Uh, a vehicle, you know, somersaulted from here and rammed into several other vehicles that were in front of it. Four people, she says, uh, have been injured, and she saw at least four people injured with, you know, various degrees of injuries, their arms, their legs, and she confirms that two of the vehicles were completely mangled. In Tame how long did it take for uh, police officials and now ambulance to come here? Ambulance, there, I mean, ambulance, more by a CSC, best system, your trains are some by Banamu by a best seven months, Sana, the police from Mumbai, no battery can no coil. So she says she didn't see any ambulance vehicle here, but uh, about an hour after the incident, she saw police officials uh, from the Tessano MTTD arrive here to uh, begin to ensure that the traffic situation here is properly controlled to avoid a chaos. And see, uh, Omar and Omar and the police nearby know what happened to the injured persons. Do you know? There be a police from Omar be home. Omar Moshe said green green form. Omar na me home so Omar jina a lot of kwenye horn umu. But na me me microphone jina. Okay, but uh, do you know whether they've been taken to the hospital or not? Uh, okay, but do you know whether they've been taken to the hospital or not? hospital. Okay, but do hospital know whether they've been taken to the hospital as she is aware, have been taken to the hospital, but she cannot confirm which health facility exactly they have been taken to. We're following up on those injured as well as getting information from the police. We'll bring you updates as and when they are available.